Hello, this is Shloe Kernis, your instructor for social studies for the elementary classroom. In this PowerPoint, I'm going to briefly explain how you can integrate quality literature, geography, and technology into one great social studies lesson. We are going to use Google Earth and a book that you will select from the National Council for the Social Studies Notable Trade Book List. First, you will need to select a book. I want you to go to the National Council for the Social Studies website at ncss.org. Once you are there, just click on Resources and then select Notable Trade Books for Young People. A PDF of the most recent list is available to members only. If you are not a member, I encourage you to join this organization. But even if you don't join, you will be able to view the list from years past. Just click on the year that you would like to view. The most difficult part of this project will be to select just one book out of all the choices. You might want to print out this list or jot down your top selections because it's off to the library we go. Look for books that feature relationships between people, places, and events. You need a story that has a strong sense of place. I wouldn't bother with major booksellers if I were you. Based on my experience, they don't have the same selection as the library. But you might look into buying a title, especially if you think you might use it again. Remember that you are going to use this book in conjunction with Google Earth. Keep in mind your grade level standards and use your creativity to think about how you will use Google Earth to take your students on a literature trip. Here is a collection of books that I thought might make good candidates for a Google Lit Trip, and as you can see, all genres are represented. Now it's time to become familiar with Google Earth. If you have already experimented with Google Earth, then you are ahead of the game. If not, don't worry, it's actually quite easy. First, you will need to download Google Earth to your computer. Go to www.google.com backslash earth. Follow the directions for the free download of Google Earth. This might take a few minutes. Now that you have Google Earth, you need to play around with it a little. There are numerous tutorials available on the internet, but to get started, just type in any address on the fly to bar located in the panel on the left hand side of the screen. I typed in the address for the Cocoa Campus. 1519 Clear Lake Road, Cocoa, Florida. Practice playing with the zoom in and zoom out tool located right on the aerial image of the Cocoa campus. You can also move in any direction to see the surrounding area and change the angle of your view. Notice layers in the sidebar. You can click or unclick all these options to change what you see in the viewing window. I typed in 4000 Central Florida Boulevard to take a look at UCF main campus. Can you find the Teaching Academy? Click on Panoramic Photos to see a beautiful picture of what the Teaching Academy looks like. Okay, now it's time to read your book carefully and create a storyboard. Decide where you want to take your students and what you want them to do when you get there. Each book will dictate a course of action that you will want to follow. Are you going on an international trip, looking at rainforests, or just sticking close to home? What will your students do when they visit each of the place marks you create? Will they answer comprehension check questions, examine geographical features, or look at famous landmarks? All of this is up to you. For more information about writing a storyboard, view the video called How to Write a Storyboard, where I show you the process I went through to create a storyboard for a book about Johnny Appleseed. Now that your storyboard is written, you are ready to create your actual Google Lit Trip on Google Earth. You have planned out in advance where you are going to take your students, and now it's time to map it out on Google Earth. To learn how to do this, watch the videos, How to Create a Google Lit Trip, Parts 1 and 2. Congratulations, you just completed your first Google Lit Trip. You can save your Lit Trip on a flash drive and play it on any computer that has Google Earth installed on it. Your students are going to love traveling the world with you and a great social studies book.